In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at how to use your chapter identification tools. They're found in your second icon from the bottom called your chapter room. You can click on the icon or press the F11 key. I'll do that and I see that I have three presets in order to uh, adjust my chapters. I can insert a chapter at the start of every new clip in my track. I have four clips here, and so if I go ahead and have this selected and click on Start, it will go ahead and calculate, and it will insert a chapter at these uneven levels, but one at the beginning of each and every clip start. That's one option. I'm going to do Control Z to undo that one. Now let's look at the second. The second one calculates the chapters in relationship to fixed intervals of time. Uh, I could choose one, two, three, five, twenty minutes. Since my clip's five minutes long, I'm just going to leave it at the one minute interval, and then I'll click on the start again. It will calculate, and now it gives me an a, a chapter every single minute. So the last chapter is shorter. The other ones are all 60 seconds in length. So that's how it does the calculations here. The third standard option is to insert chapters evenly. This is where it divides the time into whatever number you put here. Uh, if I want 10 chapters, for example, it will divide the length of time by 10. I'll click on Start. And regardless of content, it will add a new chapter uh, every 10% uh, of the length of my particular project. So that's the third op preset option. If none of those appeal to you, you can simply do it manually by moving your playhead wherever you want a new chapter to start. And then you click on the C the square with the plus button. And I can move over here and, and click it again. That's some chapter three. And I'll do one more. There's chapter four. Now to remove any of these without removing all of them, you simply um, uh, highlight it and then click on the C minus. To remove all of them, you see this one as a double shade. You hit uh, this one, it will delete all your chapters except obviously for the first one. So that's one of the things that you can do. So I'll move my playhead over here again, and we'll add one here, and we'll move it here, and we'll add another one. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can decide what picture to use to represent that chapter. It doesn't have to be the first frame of that segment. For example, if I go all the way to the beginning of my project, Okay, there's the first frame. That does not have to be the frame of chapter one. I can take my playhead and move it here if I want, for example. And then I click on this picture icon, and this will be the icon for chapter number one. If I've got chapter two here. There's the first frame. Uh, maybe I want to go to, uh, let's see, where shall I go? Drag it over a bit and get a better picture. That's an interesting shot there. Uh, I will click on this picture, and that will be the frame used for Chapter 2. And then we'll move into Chapter 3. And maybe I want this one here. I'll click here. And then when you go to uh, uh, Create a Disk, you'll see some of the differences here. Uh, if I get go to Show Chapters, it will now show me my pictures. I'm going to go back to my edit and show you something else you can do. The name Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3 are not all that exciting. So I can uh, double-click on that and rename the chapter. I'm going to call this maybe, um, let's see, uh, Field Work. Over. And there's my name. I'll click on the next one, double click. Instead of chapter three, we're going to call this uh, conversation. 
And chapter one, we'll call this start of harvest. And click that there. Now if I go to create my disk or in my uh, production area, I do show chapters. I have the picture I selected for each chapter and I also have the title for each chapter. So those are some of the things that you can do with your chapter tools in CyberLink PowerDirector.